Welcome back with a new math tutorial. This video we are talking about proportional and non-proportional relationships. What is the meaning of the proportion? Before we start, we just need to know what is the meaning of the ratio, what is the meaning of the rate. As we said before, ratio is comparing between two quantities that have the same type and the same unit. But for the rate, we need to compare between two quantities by division with different type and different unit. You will find that the proportion is equal to two or more ratios or rates. From that we can say, if the ratios are equal, then the relation is proportional. If the ratios are not equal, so it will be not proportional relationship. In problem number one, we have Andrew earning $18 per hour. We need to find if this relation is proportional or not. At the first, we need to complete the table. Now we need to find how many dollars that he will earn per hour. If he works for an hour, he will earn $18. If he works for two hours, he will earn 36. Three hours will be equal to 54. And the 4 hours will be equal to 72. Because 1 multiplied by 18 equals 18. He is earning $18 per hour. Just multiply it by the number of hours to find how much he will earn. Now we need to find if this relation is proportional or not. As we said before, once we have a relation contain the dollars and the number of items, just divide the dollars by the number of items. You will find that the first rate which equals to 18 over 1 equals to 18. And the second one, which is 36 over 2. In the simplest form, is equal to 18. And the third one is 54 over 3. The answer will be equals 18. And the third one is 72 over 4. It will be equals to 18. Once we have here, all of the rates are equal to $18 per hour. It means this relation is proportional. In question number 2, we are talking about score. For each 48 student, we need two homeroom teachers. We need to find if this relation is proportional or not. So we need to find the relation between the number of students to the number of teachers. Each 24 student needs one teacher. Because we just divide 48 by 2 equals to 24. So for each 24 student, they will need one teacher. If we have two teachers, they will help 48 students. And if we have 3 teachers, they will help 72 students. But for 4 teachers, they will help 96. We need to find if this relation is proportional or not. At the first, find the rate of each one. So it will be 24 divided by 1 equals to 24. We need, for each 24 student, we need 1 teacher. We have here 48 divided by 2. The answer now will be equals to 24. For the third rate, will be equals 72. Divided by 3 equals to 24. And the last one will be equal 96. Divided by 4 equals to 24. You will find that all of the rates are equal. Once we have here all of the rates are equal, it means this relation will be proportional. In this problem, we will find that the price of the ticket is $7. Plus we have $3 for processing fee. We need to find if this relation is proportional or not. If we just need one ticket, we will pay $7 plus 3 for ordering. So the total cost now will be 10. But if we need 2 tickets, we'll just say 2 times 7 equals 214. Plus 3 as a fee, so it will be equal to 70. 3 tickets will be 3 times 7 equals 221. Plus 3 equals 224. And the 4 tickets will be 4 times 8 equals 228. Plus 3 equals 231. Because the processing fee will just pay one time. Now we need to find if this relation will be a proportional relationship or not. At the first find the rate, so 10 divided by 1 equals to 10. And the second rate will be 17 divided by 2. 17 divided by 2 equals to 8.5. Once we have here the two rates are not equal, it means this relation is not proportional relationship. In this problem we have a relation between the number of minutes and the number of pages. We need to find which table represents a proportional relationship. As we said before, to find if this relation is proportional or not, we need to find the rate of each one. So the first rate that we have. For each two pages, we need 5 minutes, so it will be 5 over 2. The answer in the simplest form will be 5 over 2. And the second relation that we have, which is 10 over 4. If you simplify it, you will find that the answer is 5 over 2. And the third relation, which is 15 over 6. By simplifying, you will find that the answer will be equals 5 over 2. If you look at the answer in the simplest form, you will find that all of them are equal. It means this relation is proportional. But for the second table, 
we have here 5 over 3 in the simplest form is equal to 5 over 3 but for the second rate it will be 10 over 4 by simplifying you will find that the answer will be equals 5 over 2 you will find that the two rates are not equal once we have here the two rates are not equal it means it's not proportional relationship and that's how can we differentiate between the relation is proportional or non-proportional relationship